It is finally here. After years of waiting, the Ford Ranger Raptor is finally available here in the US. We just took delivery of ours. And in this video, we've got a couple of really fun test plans against the F-150 Raptor. Yeah, this is what I brought. It's the 2022 Ford F-150 Raptor, what a lot of people say is the OG Raptor. And like Tommy just said, we're gonna find out which one's quicker through a couple of races. Let's go figure it out. All right, Alex, so let's talk about this race. Quarter mile at a mile above sea level. We've got the solo DL, no rollout, and then we're gonna both go into sport mode, four wheel drive auto, and we're gonna do a brake boost of 1500 RPM. Are you good with that? That all sounds good to me. I'm switching into sport mode right now. That's engaged. Clicking the button for four auto there. That is also engaged. Ready to brake torque it and do this thing. All right, before we get going, let's do a quick rev battle and see which one sounds better. Yeah, I mean, I gotta say that F-150 has got a little bit of a throatier sound to it and then you got those three inch pipes which just look so cool. So from a sound standpoint, I think that EcoBoost Raptor F-150 is, uh, is the way to go. Yeah, I agree, but also pretty cool that both these trucks have buttons on the steering wheel to adjust the uh, the sound mode that's coming out of them. Darn straight. That's really cool. Yeah, it's really cool you have that adjustable uh, exhaust setting. Now, one last thing, Alex, before we go down the quarter, we just ran the standard Ranger 2.3 EcoBoost, and I want to put that footage in here so that folks know what the standard Ranger can do, and we'll see how the uh, the Raptor Ranger compares. Oh, the line. He fell asleep. No, I fell asleep a little bit. Go shift, shift, shift. Why aren't you shifting? You fell asleep and it'll be close and I'm still pulling away. Bye bye, Andre. Bye bye. Faster shifting. Oh. 16.13. and almost 90, 89.9 miles an hour. So low 16s at just about 90 miles an hour for the 2.3 liter Ranger. Now we're jumping up to the three liter in the Raptor and we'll see what happens. And I have a good feeling that my uh, several hundred pounds down on that F-150 is going to, to be the difference in winning this race. So are you ready? stands a chance in this race. Not gaining too much on him though. You got a slight jump on me. The 10 speeds are shifted well. There's 80 miles an hour. I'm coming back a little bit though. At the top end, 95 miles an hour and across the line. All right, dude, how was that? It's pretty crazy that a truck this big can move that quickly. 15.2 seconds in the quarter mile at 95.4 miles per hour. But I ran a 1561 at 95, so. Off the Raptor F-150 time, definitely quicker than the 2.3 Ranger. Uh, there's probably some time left at the start. We could have done a more aggressive brake torque, but I think that was pretty representative of a real world condition. So yeah, that F-150, it's quicker, but you know, quarter second to a half second quicker, and certainly at a sea level with rollout, you'd be even faster till, but there's pretty big difference between the two. Yeah, bigger difference than I was expecting. I didn't think I was gonna get you off the line that badly, especially considering how much extra weight there is here, the much bigger tires, but uh, definitely a pretty clear difference between these two trucks. Yeah, and speaking of those tires, so you're on a 37 inch tall tire. 
I'm on like a 33.7, 34. So you have a three inch taller tire and um, that definitely had an impact on, um, on, on you know, what that vehicle can do. And on 35s, it'd be even quicker. So yeah, very, very respectable out of that 3.5 EcoBoost. Pretty similar tire too. I'm on KO2s, you're on the newer version of that tire, the KO3s, but uh, the tread, at least the pattern of it, looks very, very similar. So it's not like one of us is hooking up a lot better just because of our tires. The great thing about the Ranger Raptor is that from a size standpoint, it is a lot more approachable for some families. So it's a whopping 22 inches shorter than the F-150 Raptor. It's also seven inches narrower and about five inches shorter in height, which means that this vehicle is gonna fit a lot better in a standard two car garage. Not only is the physical size of the truck smaller on the Ranger, but so is the price tag. This F-150 Raptor starts in 2024 at about $80,000 and a fully loaded one is gonna to top a hundred hundred and eleven thousand dollars which is nearly double the price of a base Ranger Raptor now there's not a lot of options on that Ranger ours came in at about fifty seven thousand six hundred dollars Taking a look at what's under the hood of these two trucks, we'll start out with the Ranger, and what you're looking at is a three liter twin turbo V6 EcoBoost engine. It's making 405 horsepower and 430 pound-feet of torque. Let's go jump over to the F-150, see what's under the hood of that truck. Unlike the Ranger, this F-150 Raptor actually has a decent looking engine cover covering the engine, but under there, just like the Ranger, is also a twin turbo V6. This one's a 3.5 liter though, so a little more displacement and decent bit more power. This is making 450 horsepower, 510 pound-feet of torque, so a lot of power under the hood of this one. Stepping inside the Ranger Raptor, well, a couple of things worth noting. The seats are very different in this Raptor compared to the standard Ranger. I personally like them. I feel like they've got pretty good support both on the bottom for your bottom and on the side for your sides. Now, one thing worth noting is if you are a larger individual, I would definitely recommend taking this vehicle for a test drive before you commit because the bolsters can be a little bit narrow for some larger individuals. But they've really done a lot of the Raptor treatment on the inside of the Baby Ranger. So we have orange accents everywhere. We've got these big paddle shifters with the center marker on the steering wheel and the heart of the Ranger interior is this 12.4 inch vertical screen. It works quite nicely. A um, couple of things I wish weren't integrated into the screen. The locker is actually in the screen. You have to push a button to turn it on in the screen instead of a hard control. I would prefer that. But I do like that we have physical volume and um, temperature knobs. But same thing with heated seats. You got to go into the screen to turn those on and off. But overall, a nice interior digital gauge cluster. Uh, they did a really nice job making this vehicle feel more premium than a standard Ranger. Inside the F-150 Raptor, well, there is a noticeable difference in here, not from like a quality standpoint or even a design standpoint, but breathing space. So you really feel those extra several inches of width from the inside. You've got this wide console. You've got these wide, comfortable seats. It really is a comfortable interior. Now, there have been a few changes between this 2022 and the 2024 F-150. It has gone through a refresh. So some of these interior design elements have changed a little bit, but the overall concept is the same. Now, this 2022 has got this 12-inch display, horizontal instead of vertical, which I prefer, especially with like Apple CarPlay integration, and then we have a lot more physical controls for both heated and cooled seats in this truck, which is really, really nice. Um, it's just a more comfortable place to spend time, and these seats are a lot wider. If you're a larger individual, you're gonna find these much more comfortable. All right, now let's move on to capability because that's what a lot of people here buy their trucks for, although not everyone, but we'll start off with towing and looking at the Ranger. A little over 5,500 pounds, 5,510 pounds is the towing rating on this Ranger Raptor. If you step up to the F-150 Raptor, towing goes up quite a bit, up to 8,200 pounds. So if you need to pull trailers, the F-150 Raptor is probably the better choice. But things get a little interesting when you start looking at the payload stickers on these two trucks. So looking at the payload sticker on the inside of the F-150, you can see payload is listed Right about 1,150 pounds, 1,148. 
But then look at the Ranger, 1,382 pounds of payload capacity. So more than 200 pounds over the much bigger truck, which is really interesting. Backseat of the Ranger is where things start to get a little bit tight. So I'm six feet tall, this is my driving position. My knees are buried fairly heavily into the back of the front seat. It is scalloped, which does help a little bit and headroom is good. It's also a very vertical back seat. It's not as bad as like the new Tacoma. In my opinion, I think this is a better back seat. No rear seat air vents either if you have furry friends back here, but you do have some USB ports and AC power. The rear seat of the F-150, now this is a back seat. Driving position, tons of legroom. We've got rear air AC vents for those furry friends, rear heated seats, AC power, USB ports. This is a comfortable rear seat. This is a full three adult rear seat where the Ranger is a two mid-sized teen rear seat. All right, Alex, now for the roll race. So for this roll race, we're gonna put both of these 10 speeds into the manual mode, and we're gonna manually select second gear. That's my windshield squirter, not my paddle shifter. There we go, second gear, and then I'm gonna go three, two, one, go, and we're gonna plant it and shift to the end of the quarter. Still in four auto? Still in four auto, still in sport mode. All right, are you ready? All right, we're gonna nose to nose, second gear, Already got 20, 25, 30, 3, 2, 1, go! Good response out of the Ranger. The roll race is much quicker. Really fast shifting transmission. Wow, 80 miles an hour, still pulling ahead in that F-150. the nose off the line on that one but I am pulling away just a little bit 90 miles an hour uh, that was closer but that, that F-150 man that is an impressive performer it really really is not bad at all that little Ranger's pretty impressive we've known these are fast for a long time that's the new kid in town that is a big blue rocket ship yeah, we've known for a while that these trucks are pretty fast. It's no surprise. It always is a little bit of a shock when you get into one after a while, but I'm still pretty impressed by the Ranger too. I mean, that's the new kid in town and you're holding your own in that truck. I am, but it's like roughly half a second faster than the 2.3. So it's, it's quick, but it's not that quick for a Raptor. I could use like another 50 horsepower, which you know the first thing people are going to do is tune these trucks and get those 50 horsepower. So that's that's coming up real soon. Yeah, I'm sure one of our viewers is going to get their hands on one of those pretty quickly and probably tune it maybe before we would. So if you've got a new Ranger Raptor and you want to uh, take it for a drag race tuned versus stock, let's try and make that, that video happen at some point. Yeah, I would love to see that difference. That'd be really interesting. I also drive a blue pickup truck as my daily driver. It's a lot slower than this truck. It's a Ram 2500 with the Cummins engine. So very torquey, but drastically different from the speed you get in one of these. It is so fun to just go all out in a truck like this. It feels like it's something you're not supposed to be doing. It's epic. So Alex, one of the reasons that this race was probably a little closer than we were expecting is from the best numbers I can find, the weight difference between these trucks isn't that huge. The Ranger Raptor, according to my sources, is about 5,300, and the full-size Raptor is like 57, 5,800. So yes, there is that gap, but it's not that monstrous. Um, and what we're gonna do here shortly is get both of them out on the scales and really see what the actual weight is. But what do you think? Which one would you take? I think I would take the Ranger, actually. I mean, a lot of times when we get all these new vehicles in, it's the new fresh one that no one has touched yet that's kind of most exciting. And yeah, I love big trucks. I love going fast. I want the thing that can go as fast as possible, but I don't know. That's just 
no one knows what that is or has it yet. It's the coolest truck out right now. Plus, like we're looking at a $22,000, $23,000 price divide between our Ranger and the very cheapest Raptor F-150. So yeah, I mean, I think it's, it's a pretty attractive vehicle as long as you don't need to carry a ton of stuff in the back seat or a big trailer behind you. Ranger's the way to go. Big thank you to Alec, by the way, for lending us his truck. Really cool ride. Thank you, Alec. You're the best. And as always, this has been Tommy. And Alex, head on over to alltfl.com so you don't miss anything else we do with this new Ranger Raptor. We'll see you in the next video.